Morning guys. We're heading to a uh, central rotation this morning. It's uh, picking up a Hyundai Elantra. Not really sure too many other details. I don't, haven't heard of how bad it is or, or anything. Um, I just know we're picking up a Hyundai Elantra. So we're headed that way. We'll be there here shortly. Thanks for watching. This is the one I'm supposed to be picking up? I believe so. Okay. I guess once they get lifted off, I can pull up here? Yeah. Okay, so let me go grab my gloves and stuff and I'll help y'all with the cleanup. Okay. Kinda know what's going on. I'm gonna pull my truck up a little bit closer here. We've got life flight on the ground. Once life flight takes off, we will be able to pull up a little closer and uh, start loading this thing up. If you would, use life flight. Keep the uh, occupants of the vehicle and your thoughts and prayers.
guessing is that red or the white truck one of y'all's or is that uh no. that's uh, this truck is the other truck is going to be this tow truck okay um can we pull that one yeah, we will. up a little bit when you get a yep. moment sweeping and stuff done. How about you? I'm great. Good. You yeah, right? Alright. Yeah. Uh, would like to. All of that came from the vehicle? Yes, all that. All that was all the stuff right here. Like truck down there. Alright. I guess since it's it's open right here, I'll just pull up behind it real quick. Hoping they would move that. Fire truck there. They, uh, okay. So they're gonna hold up for us. possibly you got this one here it's like a text dot truck and then there's two in the ditch down the way down there I don't know if those are involved or just witnesses or what I know they need to hurry up I'm ready to get working here so I will cut the video back in just a minute I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get in position while they get ready to do all their stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up right there in front of it. But I won't, I'm not gonna load it, but I'm gonna pull up in front of it. Huh? Well, they keep telling me I can't. They can't. I, they won't let me move. I gotta get an inventory. Okay. Quick. I'm just gonna back up real and get it hooked up and give me the go when you're ready. ready to go but we have to keep the road closed for a longer amount of time than needed I've never worked with this particular fire department I'm not liking how they're doing their stuff here
Yeah, I got I got plenty. As soon as I get it out the way, I'll uh, I'll put some down. We go into our central yard, it's uh, 701 uh, South Alaska. Or You're ready, you're ready for me to load it? Yeah. All right. Throw this up here real quick.
pretty dried up. There's a pretty good pool of it here still. thing down here. Where we scoop all the oil up, let that soak in. Like tech dot wrecker still loading theirs up. Yeah, quite a bit of cleanup on my bed this morning. Got me a pretty good oil slick. get all that absorb all out of the road this stuff's gonna be pretty heavy
good. The rest of that light stuff there will blow away. After this, all right. units are involved down there a little, a little bit further but obviously someone was pretty injured if uh, they had life light on the ground when we first got here so if you would keep everybody involved in your thoughts and prayers we'll be at the yard shortly to get this one unloaded thanks for watching guys into our central yard here. This thing dropped off. I have to go probably wash my uh, bed off because it dumps quite a bit of oil and coolant I think it was washer fluid maybe while I was winching it up out there so let me get this thing offloaded Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely gonna have to wash that off. So unfortunately, I don't know if these are the occupant of this vehicle or another vehicle. I know there was for sure at least two involved in this accident. Not sure which ones were the ones that were life lighted or they all were transported. There was ambulances and stuff there on the scene as well whenever I first pulled up. I'm gonna assume this one was probably one of the ones transported. And there's quite a bit of blood inside and the amount of damage there. Somebody took a pretty hard impact. Oh, there. 
a little bit on it. Wash that off when I get to the shop. thing was twisted pretty hard. The whole driver's side of it's pushed in. Going by how twisted this thing is, these vehicles, the engines and transmissions are mounted sideways pretty much. So this one with how twisted it is, I'd be willing to bet it probably won't won't shift into neutral even if it uh if we wanted it to, because it's pretty the same was pretty bad. Probably end up having to shake this thing off. It should be pretty easy because of all the uh, oil and coolant and stuff on the bed. other way I could shake it off a little easier so I can always check to see if it's what gear it's in get up there wow. looks like it's in in neutral actually it's just in a bind because of the uh, transmission I'm getting splashed with radiator with a Uh, washer fluid there on that side. So I'm gonna come back over here. gonna do here I'm gonna back up a little bit that way when the rear tires come off I can just walk out from underneath it instead of having to shake this thing off the whole way make this whole process a lot faster that it would uh, slide off a little easier for us. I can still probably WD-40 that one tire there and get it to slide a little better, but because the uh, transmission's actually in neutral, but it's damaged so bad, it doesn't really matter what gear it's in, It's the wheels are going to roll. up there right kind of tilt up and kind of push the vehicle back a little bit the rear 
tires are on the ground. He blocked them real quick. Stick one right there. I have one behind this side. I got one keeping it from rolling that way, one keeping it from rolling that way. See that one holds just a little bit of an angle. Alright. Now I can walk this thing off like normal here. Pushing my truck forward, like I showed in the uh, one of the last videos. Suck the bed out and push out with the bed, which pushes the whole truck forward because the rear tires are up off the ground. last time just to keep the uh, angles as low as I can when it comes off especially with that one side being all flat and everything there Hook off. No. A large amount of fluids over here. There is one. I might have to pull my cable over here. Get to it. Alright. Got that one unloaded. We got a lot of cleanup to do. I have to uh, probably run by the car wash this morning. Said uh, obviously there was some injuries involved in this one. If you would, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Wish them a full recovery whatever injuries they sustained go ahead and finish getting my truck ready to roll out here get uh, all my paperwork done and see what we got next thanks for watching guys